Darren, the spoils are shared here at the Hive. Just give me your thoughts on that one. Um, I thought it was the least we deserved, to be honest. Um, just spoke to the boys in now. I thought we was very good in the first half. Um, and they started better than us in the, at the start of the second half. Um, and then what I've just spoke to them about, and, and I've seen it, I've seen it creep into us on too many occasions, to be honest, that we had a little 10 minute spell after they equalised, we felt a bit sorry for ourselves. You, I see too many people looking at the floor and looking at their boots, and that's where I need people to go, get over disappointment quick, plenty of time left, and let's go again. Um, and then it was only really when we went 2-1 behind that I felt that we really sort of started to have a go again, and, and we, we can't be like that, we can't be like that. So. But where I have to give them credit, and this is and, and this is how I feel about it, is I've been in charge for 15 months now, and I've been installing in them every single minute of every day about passing and keeping the ball and switching play and being clever and you know we've had to because of the surface won't won't allow us to do that. We've we've had to really change our style, and we suffered on Saturday for trying to change our style and we didn't we didn't adapt very well but in the space of three days I think they've learnt quickly and adapted to the pitch and played the pitch a hell of a lot better tonight um, and there's a number of good performers out of tonight as a team I thought they worked hard and, and, and got got the, the minimum they re deserved out of the game which was a point and there were some really pleasing individual performances in there um, so overall, I can I can be happy. Um, you called for it pre-match that you wanted to see a reaction from the boys following Saturday, but they started so quickly out the blocks and had numerous chances before Callum put us ahead. You must have been really really pleased with that reaction. Yeah, and like I say, it's it, it's all built round a, a sort of brand new game plan um, for, for for how we've had to adjust to the to the surface. It's not. It's not going to allow us to, to play the, the patterns that I've been drumming into them over the past 15 months. So we've had to play forward. What helps when you play forward um, a bit more direct like that is you've got someone like McCallum up there who's a real handful. Um, and then with the pace of Simeon up there as well can be, a, can be a real threatening pair. And that sort of contributed to us starting the game really well. And obviously Maka, who's told us recently he's got a very long throw which is which is a great weapon to have and he's used it on several occasions tonight and it's a, a, a real threatening weapon to have and what it's led to is obviously Callum Reynolds wonderful wonderful technique that that put us one nil ups and and that contributed to a really good start to the game for us mentioned the Callum's throwing but there also seemed to be part of the game plan was to get the ball out wide to Shay and Dan Sparks and the pair of them put some really dangerous balls into the box for Paul and Simeon to get on the end of. Well that, that's where the grass is so we was trying to get it out into into wide areas um, you know in in my head how I see football I see I see many things and passing patterns and what have you but as a as an ex-winger and I've played with several centre forwards that have been brilliant in between the post, offer crosses. You know, there's nothing better for me than a, than a, than a good cross in the box and a big, powerful, punching centre forward who can edit him or volley in whatever it takes. But, you know, when we can get up into wide areas like we did today, um, you know, some of our quality from wide areas was really good. And, and Sparks, who's been who's been obviously waiting in the wings, Dave Tatonda's obviously had to miss out tonight um, through illness. And Sparksy to come in from the cold and put in a performance like that can be really proud of himself. But but all of them can. You know, Harry, who's been out for a while now and, and come back in, who's puffing a bit at the end. Charlie come back in. I had to, tonight, I had to go with legs and fresh legs um, through the middle of the pitch because that's where the pitch is at its worst. Um, so I had to make sure I had legs in there that could fight and compete. Um, so right the way through the middle of the pitch, you know, Sweeney I thought was immense again today. Um, but yeah, so good to have 
options. You know, I've got some good players in a, in a, in a good squad here, so I'm, I'm, I'm pleased for the ones that have had to come in today. And like I say, you know, disappointed not to take all three, but certainly pleased that we've come back and got a point. Does it feel like squad-wise things are really coming together? The addition of Paul McCallum has obviously been superb for us and Efron's able to come off the bench today and you've got people slowly coming back in. That must be really pleasing for you. It's nice that I've got healthy competition. Um, what I need is, is players that are chomping at the bit to get out and play. Um, there's going to have to be a little bit of rotation in how we use the players because of the volume of games. Um, because of surfaces um, away from home might allow us to play the type of passing game that I want us to play. Here might have to be a little bit more di direct until the pitch dries up. But whatever the scenario, I believe I've got the players and the, and the quality to, to adapt to different styles, as in my opinion, as they've shown tonight. The, the crowd got right behind you, even at 2-1, where they would have been disappointed to fall behind, but they stuck with you and then they were rewarded with that equaliser and had the game gone on for another five minutes, it, it could have been an even better evening for them. Yeah, it was very close, wasn't it? We had the Paul McCallum's header um, that, that hit the post. Um, he's in there gutted at the minute because he, he, he says, you know, we all expect when, he's, when he gets some opportunities to score and he expects that of himself. But no, the, 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 the fans are great, got behind. I thought it was a good atmosphere between both sets, to be fair. Our, our fans gave as good as they heard. Um, which is pleasing and it's an, as, as I always like to do, I appreciate their support. They got behind the boys and, and helped drag us back in the game and, and nearly got us over the line and got in, uh, to, to win three points. But I can only continually go on about how important they're going to be for, for this running towards the end of the season. And just lastly, Darren, it's a point this evening and then it's another game against a playoff contending rival when we travel up to Stockport Saturday. But the boys will take a lot of confidence up there. And so they should because, you know, what we've done is, what's pleasing about tonight is we've, we've got another point. We all wanted three, but we've got another point on the board um, against a rival. Um, we've put behind us a disappointing show on Saturday um, and it keeps us, I think, I've just looked at it, I think we're four points off seventh with four games in hand. So what the point does is keep us on target and our destiny is in our own hands and that's all we can ask for.